This is the Arena Precon Project Plus. We are looking at the Explorers of the Deep archetype from Lost Caverns of Ixalan Commander Release. We've already done Nicanziel in 60 card singleton brawl format. This is Zolotoyak, the Smiling Flood. We were given four of the commanders from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan release onto Arena. We weren't given Hawkball, but we did get Zolotoyak, the Smiling Flood. I'm very happy we did because it is a little bit outside of the box that is the Merfolk list. This involves a lot of proliferation with the Merfolk army, but also with the lands. We're using Zolotoyak as both spreading the seas as an enabler to give us unblockable on all our Merfolk, but also to make it into a wilderness reclamation. If you're able to untap four or five lands every turn while attacking with Merfolk, and in combination with something like Cumena, Tyrant of Razka, that can bring you more cards into hand with the Merfolk. But we have Deep Root Pilgrimage, which is essentially just providing us all the bodies that we need. We have Court of Calling, Growing Rights of Iklamak, Fauna Shaman, and Finale of Devastation, all for the express purpose of finding Master of the Pearl Trident. We didn't get our Lord of Atlantis, but we are pretty close. With a bunch of 1-1 counters on our army, Kadama is able to bring us extra lands. Fertilid is able to add more lands onto your battlefield, ramping you while still getting more with the proliferation part of the deck. Astral Cornucopia and Growing Lights of Iklamot both functions as lands that can be untapped. Now, if you put a flood counter on the Itlamok Cradle of the Sun, all of a sudden you have as much mana as you really need, tapping for seven or eight green mana on each turn. With Court of Calling, we're able to use some of that extra mana, as well as Nisu who shakes the world. Untapping, tapping, and untapping again at the end of the turn using Zolotoyak's ability. We're able to tutor for Herald of Secret Streams and Master of the Pearl Trident to give the whole team unblockable, also using Pyre of Heroes. The deck does use some of these new, maybe not the best cards possible, but again, if you can get one of the flood counters onto the flipped maze that's searching your library, you can use all this extra mana that you have into the lands. Tatiova helps with the extra lands, as does the Explorers. And I never thought I would find a good home for Emergent Sequence, but here it is. It puts a counter on the land. Although it makes it into a creature and susceptible to removal, the ceiling here is Zolotoyak. There is Wash Away. We're actually focusing more on green and sticking with ways to protect our creatures. Tyvar's Stand, Heroic Intervention, Slip Out the Back. We're running as many lands as possible here. Some of these lands have incidental counters already on them. Something like Throne of McKindy, the Monumental Facade. Now with Deep Root Pilgrimage, Deep Root Elite is all of a sudden twice as good. Every time you're attacking, even with just the one Merfolk, Deep Root Elite, it's putting another 1-1 Merfolk onto the battlefield, which also gives a counter to either Deep Root Elite or the Hex Proof token that it comes with. This is the newest card that there is, Herald's Revi, drawing a card, or if a permanent you controlled explored, seek a Merfolk card instead. We are still going with the Explore mechanic with Jang Yangu and Kami of Whispered Hopes. There's a lot of different angles with this deck, but it is nice to just be able to grab a Court of Calling and tutor for Master of the Pearl Trident to win. There is a deck list in the description of the video, and I'll put a link to the Mox field where you can just grab and export the deck from there as well. Give a share and a like, and let me know if you want to see some gameplay from this. We're trying to keep it nice and focused for these videos for now. Thanks again.